save the 24th of May 2022. What was happening earlier is a dam that was being constructed and also a movement or a diversion of a river. If you want to see the full version of that, I'm going to start off early today. The link is in the description below. So a very warm welcome to the channel. Let's go straight into the Three Gorges Dam. And once again, good news, Kutan is at 163.51. That's Chongqing, that levels have gone down there. And the Three Gorges Reservoir itself, 155.59. The inflow is out today. We have that information, 13,300. And the outflow is 27, sorry, 22,700. Good news that the levels are going down in case any kind of flood will arise in the next coming months. And June and July is the peak season for floods in China. And with that, let's have a look at the musical weather over the next couple of days of what's happening in the People's Republic of China, especially along the Yangtze and the Southern China, where most of the floods will occur in the next coming months. It looks like this. Also good news, we do have satellite images of the Three Gorges Dam of, as of the 22nd of May. And here is a quite a clear picture. I think this is like 500 or 300 meters away before the zoom goes out of focus. You can see, again, sluice gates are not open. This is from the Senatal Hub. And you can see the left and right of the sluice gates where the power plants are that there's a lot of water flowing out and that's easily distinguishable by the white flow there and one or two um, ships on the ship's elevator or the ship's locks there what's happening in other places in china let's take a quick break and we will be and back. welcome back ghost cities in china to be really honest i don't understand there are quite a few of them where the government would build these massive cities that could populate millions of people, but it's sparsely populated. Not many people live in them. Why do they build them? I really never got the hang of it. When you buy an apartment in China, you don't really buy it. You lease it for 70 years. Now, this is relatively new, this kind of idea, because modern China or opened China hasn't been around for 70 years. You can't own land. The an land is owned by the people. Yeah, right. So it's just a lease. And buying an apartment in China costs an arm and a leg. A two bedroom apartment in Shenzhen, very close to Hong Kong, could cost you sometimes like a basic apartment, a million, that's one million American dollars, which is, wow, big. But you would rent that or you could rent it for a fraction of the price. So how would you pay the mortgage? I don't really understand it, but I know it's a big part of the economy in China. I am going to put a link in the description below. There we go, the second link of a guy who does understand this. And it's a gentleman called Serpent ZA and showing you about the economy and these ghost cities. With this particular show, there isn't actually any dedicated order to it. We have seen over the last two weeks some floods in the southern part of China and the southwest of China. And here are some people actually doing some local fishing. Bad news in Beijing. 
yesterday there were 90 confirmed cases and in some areas you can see from the video that the lockdown is starting and the blue barriers eventually will be going up. So is it going to be the same as Shanghai? Is it going to be that zero hundred percent everything is locked down or is it going to be a bit more flexible? I think it's going to be more flexible because no way could the government actually do that anymore because there are too many cries out from the general public. As of Shanghai, next week it should be starting their reopening big time, but there are smaller areas like the metro, some metro um, trains are operating, but you can see how empty they are. Everyone has to wear a mask, that is mandatory, I could say, and it's just a population of 26 million people. Yeah, and this is just one train and there's like how many people there maybe 20 or 30 usually that train would be chock-a-block 24 7. something a little bit more light-hearted halfway through the news today why not um do you want a pet but don't have the time for the pet don't want to clean the poo don't want to do anything just recharge your pet well now you can. You can take it for a walk. Come on, Fido. Walkie walkies. Walkie walkies. One more piece of news for today. Hangzhou, which is just south of Shanghai, may be like 40 minutes by high speed train at where Westlake is and where Obama went in 2016 for the G20 summit. Has been some floods by a leak in a subway station. The subway station was eventually closed. There were no casualties, but I could imagine the people were really scared because what happened last year in Hernan province, where the underground was completely flooded and there's nothing that the passengers of the subway train could do. So this is what's happened. Basically, it was a burst pipe. The pipe was from a lake, hence this flooded but everything is okay. But I could just feel the scaredom of the people of what was going through their minds. Righty O, oh, so nearly at the end of the report today, I want to talk about my other channel, We Travel. The description is in the link below, surprise, surprise. And with that, on Thursday, Soapy and myself are going to go to a park. It's actually a royal park where you can walk around and we want to share it with you. Now we have been past this park many times and I think even two years ago, we did Christmas. In 2019, we did Christmas at, at this park, showing you all the Christmas lights, but it wasn't a great high quality video. So we want to go daytime on Thursday and the whole video will be shown on We Travel. Do check it out. I'm really trying to push this channel related to I want to get up to the monetization value. There are maybe seven or eight videos there already. So please take some time to watch some shows that we have done about Phuket, about um, one airline and a lot about Cambodia. But if you do have any ideas, drop us a line here or drop us a line on the other channel and tell us what you want to see. Hence, this is we travel. We're just concentrating in Cambodia and at the moment we're going through some of the requests that you, the viewer, the subscribers want to see. In other words, we travel so you don't have to and you can see some places that possibly you would never ever go to in your life and we would like to share that with you. That brings us to a close on today, Tuesday the 24th of May 2022. The thumbs up, excellent, the subscribe, brilliant, and the share would be epic to get this channel growing. I do have a challenge for myself, 40,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 would be my goal for this year. Have an awesome day wherever you are in the world. God bless, be happy, share, love. Bye-bye.